Hello, welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Obvious Child. I have to say, I was really, really glad I decided to attend this screening. I almost passed it up, I'm not going to lie, but wow, am I glad that I decided to go. First of all, this was the most enjoyable overall movie experience I have had in a very long time. I attended a screening at the Landmark Theater at Greenwood's Village, and what a nice theater. Such small, nice touches that really made you feel welcome and invited. One, they have complimentary popcorn and soft drinks. What? Amazing. Not only that, but just the small things, such as having place cards that coincide with the movies that they are currently playing, they have special drinks printed on special small cards. I was just so taken by this nice theater down in Greenwood Village. So if you're looking for a nice, unique, fun time that offers complimentary snacks, that's your place. But now, on to the movie itself. I thought Jenny Slate did wonderful. Her chemistry with Jake Lacey was fantastic. I thought they really had a bond. And it, the thing that I really loved the most about the chemistry that they presented to us was that it wasn't a typical Hollywood couple. It wasn't perfect people. It wasn't a perfect situation. And they definitely didn't hit it off right off the bat. They were much more realistic than that. They were able to add layers to the relationship that they were creating on screen. And it was really, really nice to watch and a really, really refreshing take on the Hollywood romance. The other chemistry I really loved was between the main character, Donna, and her mother. I thought that was actually the best chemistry in the entire film, and they had the most impactful, best scene in the entire film for me. But they really presented, again, a great multi-dimensional mother-daughter relationship that I thought really, really worked. It wasn't one note. I thought when we first were introduced to Donna's mother, we were going to get somewhat of a one-note performance. Fortunately, they delved into the layers and really were able to find more meaning behind that relationship. And I thought it was done fantastic. My favorite part of the film was that chemistry. So, if you haven't heard... This is a movie about a very touchy subject. It does center around an abortion. So if that is not something that you are thinking you're going to the cinema to see, then I would suggest maybe passing up on this. But I do have to say, they deliver a very powerful film without ever getting too preachy either way. So they don't condemn abortion. They don't judge abortion. Uh, so they don't preach against abortion in the film. And I thought that was a really refreshing take. Abortion has to be handled very tactfully in film and in media. Because it is a touchy subject, subject for a lot of people. And it's something that is very deep and impacts people very heavily. So they have to be very careful on how they handle the subject. And I appreciated that this film did not take the other stance that Hollywood usually takes. Is maybe it's an option, but everyone shies away. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to hear about it. And this kind of confronts it head on and makes the entire film centers around this plot device of the abortion. So I'm very happy that they didn't take the well-traveled road of condemning and judging the, the lady who chooses to go through this. But I don't believe they, they preached the other way either. It wasn't a pro-choice soapbox, the whole film. There is one one small portion where Donna's best friend does go on a bit of a soapbox. It lasts for a minute at most, um, but it really fit her character and what her character was all about. So it didn't feel preachy to me in the context because it fit within her character's personality. So, but it really didn't go all about, this is my body, the, the main character wasn't all about that. However, I do think there was a drawback, and my biggest problem with the film is that we don't get to explore Donna's psyche with her. We're more spectators throughout the film than we are actually experiencing this journey. I think that this entire film could have been way more impactful if they brought us through her decision-making, if we were there as she contemplates 
what's really happening in her life at this moment, what are her choices, what's her decision going to be, and ultimately the emotions that come along with making this decision and following through with this decision. I think they started to touch on it one scene between her and her two best friends where she's really inquiring about abortion and how does it feel and what do you go through and a few things, but that scene is all too short and that's really the only insight we get to how she's feeling and what she's thinking as she goes through this process. It's more about her relationship with um, Jake's character than it is going through the experience with her. And I wish we could have gotten both because I do think their chemistry was strong, but I think their chemistry would not have hurt a single bit if they would have brought us along the journey and allowed us into Donna's brain a little bit more. The only other real negative I have on this film is that it does get a little bit heavy in toilet humor. Yeah, gutter humor for me. And at times I was just like, okay, I'm over it. And sometimes, yeah, right off the bat, her stand-up is very abrasive, very, ah. Um, so just be aware of that, that there is some toilet humor and she did seem a little too immature for me at times with so much toilet humor. I'm finding it so hilarious that I was like, okay, this is overkill. Too heavy-handed here. But overall, I thought the film was really refreshing. Again, it, the acting was fantastic. They really sold it. They sold the connections. They really made you believe in this relationship. And it's not a typical Hollywood relationship of either a mother and her daughter or an actual one-night stand, do we want to go further, do we want to leave it here type relationship. Not the typical friends with benefits or no strings attached type thing. Or is it the typical perfect guy meets perfect girl? They have matching personalities and finish each other's sentences. It's not that either. So overall, Obvious Child, I think, was a very fun film, a refreshing take on a very controversial topic, but it is not for everyone. So make sure that you're ready for that. Make sure that watch the trailer. If the trailer is your type of humor and you can go and witness a film like this, I say definitely go seek it out. It's an independent film and it could really use your business. So find a, find a theater that's showing it near you. Um, but if it's not for you, that is also understandable. And I don't think you'll get much enjoyment out of watching it if you don't enjoy the trailer. So that's my review for Obvious Child. I love you so much for watching. Mwah. Thanks and I'll see you next time.